people, it's Leona. As promised, here's part two of my Toronto trip. If you missed part one, click here to check it out. The link is also in the description box. Now, without further ado, here's part two. Enjoy. So we're at the wedding venue for my friend and it is so freaking nice. I was worried about what I was wearing to the wedding because it's kind of revealing. Um, yeah, the breasts are out. The breasts are out and in full effect. And you know what? I'm in my 30s, okay? I'm in my 30s, so I feel as though I shouldn't feel a way about exposing my boobs. Let me show you what the seating area looks like. It is so pretty. It's so nice. Um, what I'm on right now is a treehouse. That's right. They have a treehouse at this venue. So I'm just being nosy and snooping around. People, the treehouse is air conditioned. Oh my God. I might be here majority of the time. And nobody knows about it yet, it seems. I guess I can try to show you my outfit. Um, this is a dress from ASOS. I had it like last year and I actually have it in like three colors. I have it in this red color, in black, and also in like a rust orange color. So yeah, the attire or dress code was cocktail attire so I felt this was appropriate. Forgot to show you my shoes and my bag y'all. So my shoes are from ASOS as well from the Y Fit line and um, no. They were sold on ASOS, but they're new look, part of the new look wide fit line. And this is the bag I'm rocking, this clutch, oversized clutch from Zara.
day after the wedding and right now we're heading to where I'm heading to dim sum it's like the last wedding activity for this trip something for the um, newlyweds to just speak with all the people that they didn't maybe have a chance to speak with last night it was really fun at the ceremony yesterday and everything my friend looked amazing amazing did she not I happened I managed to keep it together I didn't cry any I'm just trying to see and make sure that I am going the correct way but of course there are no signs on the street because why would there be I mean I think I'm going the right way I don't I don't know to be honest with you and I can't pull out my phone anyway getting off topic yeah so after dim sum I'll be doing a tourist attraction thing going to a castle guys castle and the castle actually isn't too far from my Airbnb so it should be relatively easy to get to I don't know if I'm gonna film at dim sum we'll see So this has been like the best tour ever, the best thing that I could have thought to do while I was out here in Toronto. The amount of access that we had in this castle, amazing. We have so much access. Right now we're at the um, garage and the stables back here. We actually had to take an underground tunnel to get over here and the castle is back there. If you could see it. I'm just loving all the noise that's going on in the background right now. It's very convenient for me having this conversation with you. Yeah, so I would say this is like the best $25 or 25 Canadian dollars that I've spent in Toronto so far. my trip to Toronto and I wish I could have stayed for longer I'm telling you I was beyond grumpy when I got back to work because I just wanted to be in Toronto anyway if you enjoyed this travel vlog I have plenty more click here to check out the trips I've taken to Rome Amsterdam and Maine just to name a few you never know when my next trip is going to be so go ahead and follow me on Instagram and snapchat at Leona Lynn loves for real-time videos and pics and of course don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when my next video goes live. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!